good morning children will be continuing next write the following decimals in the place value table we have to write the decimals in the place value table okay let we take the first problem a 0 0.29 we are taking the first point 0 0.29 so before that we have to write the place value tables okay here what you have to write means hundreds tens ones ten hundred thousand okay this we have to be writing okay let me take the first problem that is 0 0.29 so for in 0 0.29 we have to write 0 0 is in what place uh, before the point what you have 0 it is in the one it is 0 it is in the ones place okay then after the point where the two lies it is in the tenth place and uh, before only told and 9 is in the hundredth place okay 9 is in the hundredth place okay next we go to the next problem that is 19.60 i am written here 19.60 that is here you have 9 in the ones place and 1 is in the tens place and after the point you have 6 that is 10th place and 0 in the 100th place. Okay, student. And 1000th place is 0. Let me move to the next one. It is 200.812. Actually, after the point, we call it as an 812. Okay, 200. It is unit 10, 100. Before the point, after the point, it is 10. Hundred and thousand two zero zero eight one two. This will be your the next solution. This is about your writing the place value table. This is your writing the place value table. Next, you write next mean write each of the following as a decimals. Write each of the following as an decimals so they given in the fractions means this type that is 20 plus 9 plus 4 by 10 plus 1 by 100 that you should write as 20 plus 9 plus 4 by 10 plus 1 by 100 as it is use 20 plus 9 29 after 4 by 10 is a fraction you should represent your point so what is the fourth place here 10 so we'll write in first only what is one place here 100 so after the four you should write as an one clear so 29.41 this will be your answer okay next we'll move to the next problem okay that is 23 plus 2 by 10 plus 6 by 1000 so we'll be writing as 23 as it is plus 2 by 10 plus 6 by thousands so we'll be write 23 as it is point 2 is in what place in the 10th place we are written 2 but 100 places nothing is there we represent here there 0 then 6 by thousands will be write as in 6 that is 10 hundred thousand okay 100 places is nothing is there so we'll be writing as in 0 next number we are writing as in 6 this is about your second problem okay that is each write each of the following as in decimals okay next main write each of the following decimals in words so we have to write each of the following as a decimals in the words so write each of the following decimals in words so first one so whatever you write in the numbers that you have to write in the words okay in the decimals they are given let we move to the problems that is 0 0.03 so that what we told that you should write in the words so i am written 0 0.03 0 0.03 and next 108.56 so and what we are telling that you should write in the words so 
that we have to split and write after the point we should write as a splitting and writing okay five six uh, for zero three like that after the point we should represent as in zero three zero five seven point eight nine like that you should represent this is about your fifth main yeah sixth main between which two number in tenth place on the number line does each of the following number lies let me take the first one 0 0.06 so you have a number line like this in this which exactly the point is lying we should represent okay 0 0.06 lies between 0 and 0 1 in the tenth place so it is lies in 0 and 0 0.1 in the tenth place in the tenth place okay next we have 0 0.45 lies between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 in the tenth place itself once again it is 1 2 it is in the tenth place okay it is 1 2 1 2 so it is represent as an tenth place itself so point zero point four and five lies in the tenth place write as a fraction in the lowest term write as a fraction in the lowest term that is first we'll take as a first point zero zero point zero six okay zero point zero six in this 0 0.06 we written as the first one as z see after the point how many uh, numbers are there one two so we write as hundred okay before only told i written as an hundred sixty by hundred take ten ones are that which the sixty and ten we have to take only only one table the both numerator and the denominator should be cancelled okay that is 1 1 za 60 by 100 that both the numerator and the denominator should be cancelled so 10 6 za 10 10 za 10 10 za 10 za once again the table further it goes 6 and 10 which table it goes in 2 1 za 2 3 za 2 5 za so the final answer will be 3 by 5 that is a 0 0.60 is equal to 3 by 5 will be your final answer clear student here first see once again i'll explain point six zero point six zero how many after the point how many numbers are there two numbers so i'm represent 60 by 100 so which table 60 and 100 will move that is six ten uh, ten ones are ten six are 10 10 sa. so once again 6 and 10 which table it goes for the 2 1 sa. 2 3 uh, sa, 2 5 sa. so it is represent as 3 by 5 3 by 5 ok next we will move to the next zero point seven five. similarly how many digits are there after the point 2 so we will be represent 75 by 100 that is equal to 3 by 4 that is is equal to 3 by 4 how it is 3 by 4 which table 75 by 100 will move in 25 ones are 25 threes are 25 fours are so will be represent as 3 by 4 will be writing as answer 0 0.75 is equal to 3 by 5 see your students after the point how many zeros are there that much zeros you should be represented okay that is after the point one two so one two it is hundred so which table it goes 75 by 100 so it take directly as in don't direct for five ones are directly take as an higher number that is 25 25 threes are 25 fours are that is three by four that is point uh, seven five is equal to 3 by 4 will be the answer. 
so any doubts you have in 8.1 and 8.2 can be asked to your whatsapp school whatsapp number i'll be sending 8.1 and 8.2 notes for your students thank you